We haven't made a vlog in forever. I know, because we've been separated forever. I know. It's slightly depressing. But we're back. Together. Finally. Forever. Well, just for the spring break <laughs> until summer. No one make vlogs every day. Every day. Because I'm moving in. We're getting married. You know, we actually are married. We are married. My husband and wife. Yeah. Get over it. Unless Eric Dane mm. or Adam or Anderson Cooper. No. I'm comes not married to Anderson lives. Cooper. I'm married to Anthony Bourdain now. Why are you over Anthony? An- Anthony, Anthony Bourdain is more attractive. <laughs> no. He's not more Anderson attractive. Anderson Cooper's gay. They're both attractive. And Anth- Anderson Cooper is gay. Actually, I have no chance. My one, Maybe. my friend Laura, or her um dad, or her uncle. I'm sorry, her uncle, um lives in Atlanta, Georgia, with his boyfriend, and they're like in the they're super rich, and so they're in like the Anderson, high class. Anderson's always in Georgia. Mm-hmm. And they're in the like high class <sighs> gay community there. And apparently, Anderson Cooper was hitting on my friend Laura's uncle's boyfriend. Oh, jeez. Scandalous. So Anderson Cooper, step down. Stop being such a slut. <sighs> God. Gross. You're supposed to just come to North Relton and see us. And the Cooper, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Anyway, we're over here. So, <laughs> let's first talk about the biggest dismay of Robin's week. <sighs> Meryl Streep did not win the Oscar for Best Female Actress, or Best Lead in a in a film, whatever. I don't even know. Female Lead. Best Leading Actress. Yeah. I'm really mad. Sandra Bullock won a Razzie the night before for Worst Actress. But in a different movie than she won for. I don't care. Still, you can't be worst and best at the same time. No. I would say that's true. Consistently, Meryl Streep is definitely a better actress. She's been nominated more times than anyone else ever. Any other actor or actress. Which is awesome because she's the best and I love her. And your face looks really annoying right now because you're disagreeing <laughs> with me. And if you disagree with me, I'll cut you. I'm so, saying she's good, but I just think that Santa Meryl Bullock Streep is a, a goddess, and her birthday, which is June 22nd, should be turned into a national holiday. So whoever is listening or watching, if whoever can make that happen, you better do it. Same for Barbara Streisand's birthday. Mm, second that one, but. Yes, she's also a goddess. Just playing devil's advocate for a second, Sandra Bullock did do very good and very well in her film. What's it called again? I completely forget. Hmm, that's probably why it wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Uh, Something. Did so- anyone see the part of the Oscars where um, Sarah Jessica Parker was walking out on stage and they made some joke about... Her only weighing a pound. I thought it would have been really funny if they had a girl from Precious walk out. <laughs> and after that, it's so mean, but like, that's funny. She had like a special seat. Cause oh my god, yeah, she was so enormous. She's like really funny though, like on the red carpet. I thought. You know what's stupid? She's like really good at being interviewed. Like she's funny. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I was looking on the um like best so and worst dress list. Oh and my then, god, and they gave her gorgeous. Yeah, she did look really good. Same with Helen Mirren. Yeah, she did look cute in her house. But um, they're like, oh, A plus for for fatty and precious. It's like, excuse me. <laughs> well, at least um, she t- at least she tried. Well, yeah, but it's like you're only giving her an A plus because that's really the only dress she could like find <laughs> in that size. <laughs> Like, I just hate when people are like, oh, just because she's extra obese, oh, let's just make of a, like, you can't bad, knock her down. I saw, I was driving with my mom today to go out to lunch, and mm-hmm. there was this woman on the side of the road, like, walking, and she was wearing blue leggings. Fat people shouldn't wear leggings, so if you're fat, don't wear leggings, thank you. Um, blue leggings with stars on them, so they resembled the star part of the American flag. <laughs> they were really cute. Wow. And, and then she was wearing like a tank top that was too short, so her fat rolls were like hanging out underneath. I mm. almost threw up. I almost had my mother pull the car over and So you can tell her So I could throw get up those and throw up first on her maybe. And then <laughs> So she would have to change her get, leggings. Get your leggings off right now before you get <gasps> fined by the fashion police. Oh my god. Oh my <sighs> so what else has been going on with you? With me. You're on spring break now. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Okay, I have two freaking more weeks of school. Hmm. I've been, 
I've been um, just working on the dating scene for oh, a little. Man. So far, it's an extra fail. Here's a story I haven't told you. Oh, you sure you want to tell us on the camera? Yeah, it's not a bad one. Still, it's so much to tell. <laughs> Shut up, you bitch. Anyway. <laughs> My laugh is probably really annoying. Yeah, it was. <laughs> no, okay, here's the story. That's why I did it that way. Mm-hmm. Story time. So, my one friend is like, oh, there's this really cute guy, and he's so nice, and he's perfect for you. And I was like, oh, okay, give me his number. We'll, maybe we'll text him stuff. I think he told me this one already. Oh, I think I did, actually. <laughs> so, okay. So, you know, I get his number. We're talking back and forth. He seems like a nice kid. So anyway, we end up, like, you know, just meeting up for lunch, and, with, but my uh, my friend Ryan was there, and was, like, one of his, like, girlfriends, whatever. Anyway, we're talking, and this kid is, like, such a psycho, it turns out. He's not even, like, yeah, my, he's not that cute anyway, but I thought, you know, maybe your smartness and your interestingness will make up for it. Mm-hmm. No. Not so. He was so weird. He was, this is, he was, like, um... So what kind of underwear do you wear? <laughs> and I was like, I'm trying to adjust the screen here to yourself. Just so we look more together, because we're married. And I was like, uh, excuse me. And he was like, well, I mean, it just tells a lot about a guy, depending on what underwear you wear. And I was like, you should be like, I wear granny panties. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I wear boxes, boxer briefs. Actually, from breeze, my so. grandma. Yeah, I, I wear hand me downs, but yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> I can't afford regular men's underwear. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, like, okay. I was like, what does that say about me? He was like, oh, it means you're really relaxed and chilled. And I was like, what about that time I told that boy who was trying to talk to me from Kent that I was a transsexual, so he would go away? Oh my god. <laughs> That was a drastic step, but it really didn't help it's, because he's like, yes, really sexual. I was like, no, thank you. He would have tapped you no matter. You could he have was, He looked like he had Down syndrome, but didn't. <laughs> he was just like a jock. He was just really ugly, I think. Mm. Not that that sounded really offensive to people, but. <laughs> I know. Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> There's any jocks watching this, which I seriously doubt. I was talking about the Down syndrome comment. Oh, well, there's any Down's interview watching this. Not to offend you. But we was, love you. But he was ugly, but also looked like he had Down's or no. Oh. That's better. So, what's happening with you lately? Anything good coming up? Besides your concert. Oh, um, yeah. No, not really. Um, but let's talk about Lady Gaga's new music video. Because it just yeah. came out. And have you seen it? No, I don't really care. I'm not huge on the Gaga. I am. Sorry, guys. Well, let me tell you. She's just all right. It, it is, it was a really interesting video. Like, I'm not sure, uh, she was obviously inspired by Kill Bill for part mm-hmm. of it. I'm not sure if she's, I, heard. I think she was inspired by another movie, though, for the first part. I just am not familiar mm-hmm. with it. But, um. Is it Beyonce in it or something? Yeah, Beyonce's in it, too. I can't tolerate Beyonce. At all. Why? Because I think she's, like, the worst ever, so... Worst at, at what? I don't know. I just hate her singing. I think she's gross. She's, like, one of the best vocalists of our of, the, of this, like, her generation. I hate our generation. That's why. Because the music sucks. Yeah, but not, like... But vocally. Like, have you heard her cover of Barbara Streisand? Have you ever heard, seen that video? Barbara is a goddess. No one can touch her. Well, Beyonce just tapped that ass. A little, like, I think a year ago or something. Lady Jones, dry sand is a goddess, and no one could come close. Um, Beyonce? She tried, but she failed. No, she did not fail. She, she Maybe it wasn't great. a f- complete fail, but it was not Barbara. Well, no one's Barbara. Thank you. Oh my god, look how long this has been going on. Anyway, it was a good music video. Watch we're, it. We're funny. I liked it. Us. I like the product placement. <laughs> I like the Polaroid product placement, especially. Polaroids are back. I forgot about Polaroids. Remember they got they started discontinuing all the all the Polaroids. Yeah. And they brought them back because apparently everyone likes them. I love Polaroids. They're, They're so fun. fun. They're they cute. Are fun. I like them. Wow, this is a nine minute video. So we'll be back probably pretty soon. Probably hopefully, next time we're together. Yeah. Because I know you guys are dying for another video of me and Nick, Nick and I, whatever. It Actually, is. probably no one watches this. I don't care. We're funny. <laughs> yeah, watch us. We're cute. Okay, we're gonna go because this is about to shut off anyway. Adios, babes. I love you.